and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new my name is Kirielle my hair is a mess today okay I couldn't be bothered to do anything with it so I just put it back in a ponytail I literally look like I have a rat's nest back here okay it's just I don't want to talk about it okay <laughs> Today we are trying out something that I'm very curious about. It's another mascara release. I feel like there's been a lot of them recently. <laughs> but today we are talking about the Maybelline The Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. I have seen so many influencers doing ads for this and I have absolutely nothing against people getting their coin, okay, you do you. But I feel like it's every single person I follow is doing an ad for this. And I want to know, is it actually good? Is it worth the influencer ads? Are they lying to you? <laughs> I doubt the people I follow would be lying to me, but you know. I don't know them. I just follow them online. I have hope though guys. Okay, I have hope. <laughs> so what they are saying is that this mascara is supposed to look better than a salon lash lift, which is a pretty big claim. I mean, they do put a question mark on the end of that, but <laughs> that's what they're implying. You're supposed to be able to achieve long lifted lashes with this mascara. It's got a fiber infused formula. You're supposed to get dramatic length and volume, which is my kind of preferred mascara. I much prefer a volumizing mascara. It's supposed to have all day wear. Be suitable for contact lens wearers and sensitive eyes, which I don't think I've ever seen in a mascara before. <laughs> it retails for $9.99. Sometimes they do go on offer, however. For reference, my favorite kind of mascaras are thick, voluminous, almost clumpy mascaras with kind of a drier formula usually. Like I love the Makeup Revolution, the mascara, and also I quite like the benefit they're real. That's not so much a thicker formula, but I really like the mascara. <laughs> with all of that said, let's zoom you guys in and see how this applies and see if it is worth the hype. Okay, so I brought you guys in real close and personal right now so we can see exactly what happens with this mascara. Typically, I'm a one and done kind of girl, so I'm hoping it's going to be a quick mascara application. <laughs> so this is what the wand looks like. It's kind of got an hourglass shape to it with, it kind of looks like natural bristles. This is the usual type of wand that I go for, so high hopes from the get-go. <laughs> All right, let's try this baby on. Let's just get to applying. It feels like a dry formula, so that is great. Ooh. Feels very dry, actually. So far? Hmm, I'm quite liking this. My lashes are fluffy because the formula is so dry, but also I'm getting length and a decent amount of volume. I have also managed to get some on my lid, so ignore that. <laughs> the wand is quite big, so I find it easy to like knock myself in all honesty, but the actual results, that's actually pretty decent, you know? It is quite a deep black, which is great, and it's given me the volume that I like and the length that I like, but it hasn't made them clumpy, and I still have a lot of featheriness to my eyelashes, which I quite like. So here is a side-by-side -side of one coat. I'm just gonna quickly do my other eye. I have dipped in once more to do this other eye blurry. Okay, so that's one coat on both eyes. I am gonna do a second layer because I do like a little bit more volume than what it already has because it has dried relatively quickly because it is a dry formula. Let's see how well this builds. Okay, I feel like this is making my lashes look a little bit spidery now and a little bit clumpy. I wouldn't recommend the second layer with this, although my eyelashes do look very voluminous, but that's because there's so much going on right now. <laughs> I'm gonna quickly try the lower lash line. Whoa, I did not realize my lower lashes were that long. <laughs> Okay, so that is one coat versus two coats. Um, I'm just gonna even myself 
out. That was me thinking I was gonna do like nice soft makeup today. <laughs> uh, and now I have clumpy ass lashes, great. Okay, so there is my eyes all finished up. Let's zoom you guys out and discuss my thoughts on this mascara. And I'm sorry about the lighting. I feel like it's all over the place. I am using natural lighting today. Um, so my apologies if it looks dark today. I'm sorry. All right, so my opinions on this mascara. I get why people are talking about it. It is quite a nice mascara formula wise. I did prefer it on the first coat. It made my eyelashes very lengthened. It did give me a little bit of volume, but also, let my lashes look very fluffy and natural. It is quite a nice looking mascara. Built up, I don't think it works the best. <laughs> I don't really think it's a buildable mascara, but then again, it's not claiming to be. But for a person like me who really loves the thick lashes, it doesn't quite give me that. Although it is a very pretty looking mascara. I think I'm gonna continue to use this and I think the more I use it and the more it dries out, the better it will get for my preference. And apart from the kind of clumping issue that I had on the second coat, I really like the way my lashes look today. As far as the price point, I'd say it's pretty average, so I'd say it's worth the price as well. So yeah, I hope this helped you in some sort of way with deciding whether you want to purchase this or not. Yeah, overall, quite a nice mascara. I guess it is kind of worth the hype. <laughs> And yeah, that is it for this video. This is going to be probably quite a quick one. <laughs> if you're just now stopping by on my channel, I hope you decide to stick around. To do so, all you need to do is hit the red button down below and the bell button, and that'll just notify you when I upload next. I'm uploading twice a week on my channel, so I'm here all the time for you guys. And yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world, and I hope to see you on the next one. Till then, bye guys.